Now, obviously, if you get to 50% participation, that means half, half the population goes and half the population doesn't. So what about that other half? <coughs> there are two possibilities. The first is that they, you try to get to 100% participation, and the second is that you think about what else might be on offer. Essentially, in this country today, there is nothing else on offer. Not really. We have created um, an adult skills sector, a further education sector, a non-university <coughs> sector, in which there is effectively no, not no, merely no top class, no tertiary provision. If you, we have in this country this system that's called of, of, of qualification levels, which was introduced a while ago and has serves all sorts of purposes, mostly to tie funding to them. But even though it also comes up with some sort of nonsensical equivalences, it's quite a useful way of thinking about things because essentially it says anything that's post upper secondary goes to level four, five, six, seven. So essentially, level three, although it includes some very demanding craft vocational qualifications is what an A-level would be, or a, or a BTEC diploma. So level four, level five, or level six, which is a full undergraduate degree, at that point you're into post-upper secondary, and I want to emphasize everybody now goes into upper secondary education. So if you want to differentiate yourself, you're looking at what comes next. And what you have got there, which unfortunately I can't use the pointer for because it's a TV screen, is a picture in which if you strain very very hard you might just be able to see the level fours that is the qual num that is a chart showing the qualifications that were awarded in the further education the adult in further education for people age 19 plus over this period and that's the total and there is level four plus, there is level four plus, four plus, four plus. So that is what people age 19 plus who don't go to university are being offered and obtaining. And just to show it slightly differently, which you probably couldn't see, even the small number that we had has gone right down in recent years. The number of sub-degree tertiary level awards being funded by our adult non-university, non-higher education budget has actually been going into sharp decline, even from the, number of, the low number that we were at a few years ago. And in fact, under the education and training part of the adult skills budget, which is the bit that funds further education colleges, the number of level four and five awards made in 2014-15 was a quarter of what it had been just two years before. So when I say that we have basically abolished anything except universities at tertiary level, that is what I'm thinking about. <laughs>